Hi and welcome to another episode of Essential Lightroom. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can recreate a similar effect to one of those in the new preset pack we've got coming out very soon. Now this is the Architectural Twist preset, and what it does is it takes an image like this where you've got a sort of standard image with lots of architecture, and it'll turn it into something like this. So as you can see, it's a highly stylized, high contrast with a lot of desaturated colors going on in there. Now I'm going to take you step by step through how to process this. Like I say, this is just an example of something similar to what we've got in this new preset pack that's coming out. So before we kick things off and take a look at how to process this image, I just want to say that we've now got a Patreon channel for Lightroom TV. And if you'd like to have access to exclusive supporters content, such as presets, eBooks, and tutorials that are not going to be available anywhere else, then use the link in the description below, pop over there. And even with a basic subscription, you'll still get exclusive freebies that no one else gets access to. And don't forget, everybody has access to the free Lightroom presets and resources we have available on the Essential Lightroom and Lightroom TV website. So you don't need to be a Patreon supporter to get access to those, but if you want exclusive additional content, then Patreon is there for you. Anyway, let's take a look at how we can process this image. So we've got a pretty high architectural image here. We've got lots of detail in the background. And the first thing I want to do is jump over to the Develop module into the Basics panel. And from there, we're going to make some basic tweaks to this image. So the first thing we want to do is get that high contrast effect in there. So we're just going to grab the contrast slider. We're going to bump that over to the right-hand side, take it up to about plus 60, somewhere in that region. You can see now we start to get really nice deep blacks in the image, a good contrast in there. Next thing you want to do is just push those highlights. I'm looking for a kind of... A blown out look. I don't mind too much if it starts to lose some of the detail. That's the kind of effect that I want. So we're going to take this up to around about that point. That's looking pretty good. Shadow detail, we're going to drag that right the way down. So we want to make sure we've got really nice dark shadows. So we're going to take that to around, around the minus 40 mark. And then we're going to do the same with the whites. We're going to bump those up, same as the highlights, around about the same kind of figure, around the mid 40s. So you can see we're getting a really contrasty look. So if we take a look at before and take a look at after, you can see we've got that real nice contrast in there. So the next thing I want to do is deal with the color information in the image. I want to desaturate the warmer colors. So we're going to jump over to the HSL section just to do that. Now for this effect, we're going to start off by dealing with the saturation. And we're going to take the warmer colors and we're going to really reduce those down quite a lot. So we're going to grab the reds to start off with. We're going to drag this down to about minus 35, somewhere around that kind of region, to take out the redness in the image. We're going to do the same for the orange. We're going to take that down even further. And if you look in the background, you'll start to see those colors really do start to desaturate. So we're going to get those to about minus 60. Same with the yellow the green, and for this example, the blue and the aqua. So all those are going to go down to about minus 60. So there we go. So we've now desaturated those. The next thing I want to do is deal with the luminance levels, and I want to make some of those colors darker and some of those colors lighter. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the red slider, and we're going to drag that down to about minus 40, somewhere along that, that sort of line and the same with the orange we're going to take that down to about the same point so that will then darken those warmer colors down and then we're going to do is we're going to start to boost the other color so all of the other colors are going to be taken to plus 60. and there we go we've now taken all those colors and lightened any additional colors in there and that pretty much is this preset you could go further if you wanted to. You could crush those blacks. You can do a lot of other things to this image. But as a starting point, it's pretty cool. So this is the before. You can see, pretty standard looking image. A little bit desaturated itself. And there's afterwards, so it gives it a really highly stylized effect. So that's a really nice looking effect. And I'll show you another example now to sort of see exactly what it looks like where you take a different image with architecture in it and how that can really enhance that as well. So let's just quickly jump back over to the library module. And what we're going to do is we're going to find another image that I've got on here that has a lot of architecture in it. And we're just going to jump up to that one and we'll use that as a good example. Okay, so let's open this up. Let's just go to the develop module, press D to go into that. All I'm going to do is I'm going to use the preset that I've created for that, which is Urban Twist. Give it a click. And there you can see all those effects taken into this image. And as you can see, it gives it a really nice stylized look. So again, before 
and after. And let's take a look at one final example. So let's just go back to the library module, come to this one of the cityscape, and we'll just develop that with Control F D. And as you can see, pretty colourful looking image. So let's just come back into that preset, hit Urban Twist, and there we go. So you can see we can get a really cool effect very quickly. And like I said, if we wanted to take this one step further, we can easily come in, go to the tone curve, come to this, add a couple of extra points in there, grab the blacks, crush those down a little bit. Put some of the contrast back in there, the mid-tones to get a bit of sort of sharpness in there. And you can see we can very quickly and easily start to tweak and enhance this image based upon that original simple idea. So let's just bump the contrast and the exposure up just a little bit. So there we go. So you can see you can very quickly take that example and just take it way beyond that just with a couple of simple alterations. Now that's just an example of something close to the new preset that we've got in the Instagrammer pack that's coming out very soon, so keep an eye out on that on the channel. We'll demo a lot more of the content. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add. If you have any comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else covered on the channel, please put those in the comments section below. And until next time, take care.